Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping safe at home and maintaining social distance when you're out and about running your errands. As you know, with the recent circuit breaker um, precautions, the F&B industry has been severely hit and as such, we have decided to speak to a few on the ground about um, how they have managed the business during this pandemic. Real shitty, in a sense that um, we are not able to do what we do. The measures that have put in place are obviously extremely drastic. Level 33, we are used to serve about 500 customers or guests per day, and it's obviously now down to zero. It's really painful, and it is killing our business. It is a necessary measure. It is good. I feel like the more strict the measures, the faster that we can deal with this problem. I believe the measures taken from the uh, Singapore government was very good. And also the financial help that they gave to us was uh, really something unexpected. It is a very tough and challenging period for all of us. Personally, I think these measures that have been put in place are necessary. Because it's, it's really about protecting the lives of uh, the people. We try always to be positive, but uh, in this situation we have to take a measurement. For example, we have to cut salary of the staff, we have to let go of some people which was very helpful for us. And uh, this doesn't make uh, the morale of the staff to be at the top. To keep the morale up, we are very united. Um, we try to be here for each other, so the whole team is still on board. So this pandemic has affected the morale of the staff, um, definitely. We, we will try to push through as, uh, as long as we can to support everyone. From an owner point of view, I'm pretty much very affected by the fact that I got staff salary to pay, I got rent to pay, I got bills to pay. Of course, that put me at a, at a place where, where I'm worried. I think even for my staff, you know, you don't see people dining in, you are, you are just cooking and, and just working behind the scene, but there's no interaction, where you don't see customer, the restaurant got no life. It definitely affect their morale. With job retention in mind, the hotel management allayed the concern of our colleagues and put our own measures in place to control or reduce costs in different parts of the business. I think for my staff in general, uh, there is a lot of uncertainty and uncertainty creates fear. So being very proactive is, is a way that I use to keep my morale very high and thinking of the problem, I use it as a challenge and, and find new ways to reach uh, whatever goal we have. There is really nothing much we can do about the big, big environment. We try to make the best of the situation. Naturally, a lot of my staff can't work because we are shut. Um, but, you know, I tell them that there is light at the end of the tunnel. I expected FNB to be hit this hard. Even be Singapore before um, tightening all these measures, you see places like in countries like in France, in, in Australia, in New York, where all restaurants have to cease operation. We were uh, expecting to uh, to be a very tough time since February. In uh, in the last month, the revenue has uh, has reached the ninety percent less compared to the to the previous year. FNB is very very dependent on hospitality. It is about us um, welcoming people here, letting them try our food, our drinks, um, giving them the whole experience. So when you have measures where people literally can't go into the restaurants, there's no face to face interaction, there's no hospitality. Um, yes, I would say that. With these measures, um, a lot of FMB businesses are very hard hit. Didn't expect to be hit this hard, but we are adapting. We are trying our best to see how 
uh, we can uh, ride this through and uh, uh, support our customers as well. I was expecting at least open air venues uh, and the hawkers to be still available for dining out. But it's understandable, but I did not expect to be really closing entirely all venues. Especially high-end restaurants where we sell experiences more than just food. Uh, we require people to come to our establishment to, to do what we do best. When this became more and more uh, a problem, it was obvious that the uh, restaurant industry and tourism industry in general was going to get uh, greatly affected by it. Now, this situation we're in is really unprecedented. All along, the Messers has been a dining uh, restaurant. We have never ventured into um, delivery. So we adapted, we moved from dining right away to delivery. We actually had to split our teams, uh, our teams into two, and uh, with our staff working longer hours, um, so that we can uh, minimize contact with, uh, you know, within the restaurant itself. To keep the business afloat, we, we reduce all the cost, the variable cost, and uh, we cut down the purchase almost to zero. We are pushing very heavily on our e-commerce platforms. One more initiative that we've uh, recently come up with is that we wanted to really give back to the bars who have supported us. So what we're doing is that we are using our bonded um, licensed manufacturing and bottling facility to help all these bars um, bottle their cocktails. We are selling them on our website and all the profits will go straight to the bar. Um, we've also created something for people who are stuck at home. So we've put together a circuit breaker survival kit. So it's for people who want to make their own cocktails. So we'll teach you how to do it. But now that we are completely at sales, basically zero, we have to count on the government support that the landlord to come uh, towards us and help us out. I've been trying to find business solutions. Tough Time Tickets is one of those initiatives. We're creating an initiative that is helping other establishments that are in need. And by helping those establishments, we can help ourselves. We decided to temporarily close Gordon Grill and our espresso to focus on our takeaway and delivery service. Within a week, we transformed our restaurant from a dine-in place to a fledging alpha operation. Put together a delivery menu called Eatbox. I'm very happy to share that 100% of the delivery charge will go to the delivery man. And this is our way of passing on the goodwill. Order online, deliveries, um, take away. Buy gift cards. A word of encouragement goes a long way. Take a break from cooking at home and let us do the cooking and delivery for you. The best way to support is also to go directly to the restaurants to for their services and try to avoid their parties. Big thank you and big hug to everyone behind the lights of Hawker United 2020. FNB United 2020, Restaurant Rescue, Tapa for a Cause, and many more. Continue to support local businesses because we buy um, you know, some of our produce from local businesses as well. Stay home and stay safe. I think we're gonna get through this, stay positive, spread love, most important. To be safe of course, but uh, in the same time I want to uh, I want to assure that we are all of us in this. Cherish the time with those with you at home. It's tragic for many reasons and terrible for many many people being like a, a big family and a big family will get through it better and stronger than before. We I hope that our food it would be the same words that I try to tell myself that this problem that we're facing today is in some way making us better tomorrow. Continue to support each other. Let's work together, uh, not give up. Um, we are working on a couple of interesting new initiatives, so um, we can't wait to get back out there and have all of you. Uh, Come back with 
social distancing measures in place, of course. But in the meantime, um, keep your gin up and we'll see you soon.